We will first check out how to do the process using Git. If you are using Docker, we will review the process later in this section. First, go ahead and fork the My Simple Flask app Git repository found on the From Zero GitHub account. I have put a link in the description of the video. Then, cd to the directory where you develop your applications and clone it locally. Make sure you cd to the new repository. Now we enable virtualenv, virtualenv-p, python3, venv. Activate it, source, venv, bin, activate. Then pip install the requirements, pip install-r requirements.txt. And then run the Gunicorn server. Gunicorn app colon app dash p 000 5000. Check that the application is running. So why do we use Gunicorn and not the Flask server? Because the Flask server or the managed py we've used is not multi-threaded, and so it's not scalable to be used on any production environment. Now we start working with the Heroku side of things. First, we need to tell Heroku what version of Python we'll be using. For this, we create a runtime.txt file and add the Python 3 version your system has. Check it by doing Python 3-v. Next, we need to create the proc file, which is a text file to tell Heroku how to boot up our application. We will just copy and paste the Gunicorn command here as if we were on the terminal. Now add all the code to the repo. git add dot. Commit it. git commit m initial commit. And push it. git push dash u origin master. We are now going to test the application locally but using the Heroku command do heroku local web if you go to the localhost 5000 on your browser you should see your application running now we're going to create the heroku application with heroku create here we can see a url was randomly generated for the application and also a Heroku-specific Git repository was created as well. This Git repository was also added as a remote endpoint for you to push to. If you navigate to the URL, you'll see a placeholder page. Now we want to push the repo to the special Heroku Git repository. Just type git push Heroku master. You should see the application being installed remotely, and when it's done, your application will be deployed to Heroku. Now we need to actually start a virtual server, which Heroku calls Dynos. So run the following command. Heroku ps colon scale web equals one. This tells Heroku to assign one dyno to your web process. Now, if you visit the URL, you should see the Hello World app running. You can also automatically open by typing Heroku open on the console. You can check the status of your dinos by doing Heroku PS. And you can also read the logs if you have any errors by typing Heroku logs. Finally, you can shut down the app by doing Heroku PS colon scale web equals zero. Bear in mind that the free tier gives you limited time on the dinos being up.